this is a bit of a, a look around Zoran OS 12 Ultimate. This cost me 15 euros. I believe it's 19 now, uh, but it was 15 when I got it uh, not long after it was first released, uh, which was about 21 Australian dollars. So whatever that equates to in your your currency, I don't know. Um, so I just want to go through a few of the the changes, and the the first one is files, and the default view is this icon view, and in the earlier versions of Zorin, if you change that, uh, because there's there's no preferences or anything to set, it's just basically these buttons here. And in uh, in Zorin 11, for example, if you changed it and then cl closed out when you restarted it, it would default back to the large icons. So that's an improvement in uh, in my opinion. Uh, another thing that's different now is I'll just copy this file over, and instead of getting a dialog box come up here, you get this little pie chart up in the, the header bar here and if you click on that you can see your, your progress and speed etc there so that's that's quite nice I, I think that's pretty good myself and another one is uh, I've got a wireless keyboard and mouse a Logitech MK270R I think it is and in earlier versions of Zorin, at least in 11, uh, the pointer speed it wasn't even showing as an option here for me. So I used to have to plug a USB cabled mouse in and then this would appear and make the changes and then unplug the other mouse and I was good to go. So that's that's good as far as I'm concerned that that's resolved, that it's seeing my mouse correctly now. Uh, some of the applications now are, what do they call them, content driven apps. Uh, for example, I'll start these, oh there you go, it's just telling us that the download's complete. Um, the content driven apps like the image viewer and the video player, uh, you can see it looks like it's got a dark theme, where's the the file manager hasn't. So the content takes centre stage according to the website, uh, which I think looks that looks pretty nice. And another thing is these pictures that we're looking at here are on a, a NAS, a network attached server, and I'm now just scrolling through them with the left and right arrow buttons on the keyboard, and I wasn't able to do that in the default image viewer from a, a network drive in previous version so uh, I, I think that's an improvement as well myself so another another tick for the Zoran team on that one and we'll just show we've got a video here somewhere just the same thing with the video the player see it's all black there, I'll just turn the volume down on that, and yeah I think that looks that looks pretty nice myself, we'll just let it, that's it at full screen there, quite nice. And there's no dragging or dragging and dropping or right clicking out of the the menu now so if you want to make a uh, a launcher like I've done there with a the system monitor you um, you start the app in this case I'll do it with videos and then you right click its icon down there on the panel and choose add to favorites you get a little notification up here and now if I close videos that uh, that's actually a, a launcher down in and where are we go there we go
go. We've got these thickening scroll bars. Zorin 11 had this as well, so when you approach that with the mouse, they um, they thicken up for you, which is another nice little feature there. And I'll just show some of the the theme. So if you start settings, which is there, or just uh, where is it? Settings in there. You can see I've already got it running. Go to Zorin Appearance, and this is the the default one running here now. This is pretty much how it looks. I'll put a couple of launches down there and got a few apps running and whatever, but pretty much what you're seeing is how it looks out of the box. And these top three here are the default three you get in the core version, and you get these other three down the bottom here in the ultimate version, of which this obviously is. And so just menu looks pretty much the same there to me. That's so just gone to a different look down here, Windows XP look or whatever that is, I don't know. And we'll change to another one here. And we've got a totally different setup there. And if we hit the Windows or the super key, we get that. If we hit that, that looks like it's the same thing to me. And these are the the three in the ultimate. Hit Windows key, applications, and this one, which I guess that's like Unity. If we hit the applications, show like that. Okay. And the super key gives that view, and that button there gives that view. That's the difference there. And this is the Mac look, I suppose. Uh, super key gives that, and you get that with that. So there's your, um, your different layouts. You've also got, if you scroll down, you've got some more options down here. Uh, mounted volumes is checked by default but I've just unchecked it to do the the video. And themes, I'm a bit of a dark theme lover myself. You can see that's all gone dark with the the red and the same here with the, the system monitor. And this is Zoran have been doing this for a while now. These dark themes and different colours and so on here that you can choose. Pretty straightforward and simple, sort of gives you a bit of a preview there what you're going to get. So there you go, there's a bit of a look around some of the, the things that I've noticed with um, with version 12. Uh, other than the different desktop layouts, probably most of that's pretty similar with the uh, core version, I would think. And the extra apps and the, uh, the support from the developers in the, the Ultimate for the, the 15, well it's 19 now, 19 euros, so that's my little look around there. I was a big fan of in Zorin 11. I used to run it with the Cairo dock and the Compus effects. And obviously things are going to be a bit different while I'm using this, so I'll just take that as it comes. And other than that, it's a very, as usual with Zorin, it's a very nice looking distro in my opinion. They usually do a pretty good job. And that's one of the draw cards for me is, is actually how, how pretty it looks on the screen basically as well as being functional. So we'll give it a bit more time and see where we end up I suppose but that's pretty much my 
my little look around Zara and OS12 Ultimate.